Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So the Season 5 Reckoning trailer for Halo Infinite has finally released and we got quite a lot that has me quite excited. But today I will be highlighting things that you might have missed, so let's get right into it. The first thing being literally within 3 seconds of the beginning of the trailer, we can already get a look at 3 Spartans. On the left we got what seems to be a new helmet for the Mark 7, which we actually do see a bit later. But the more intriguing part is the Spartan in the middle which actually seems to be wearing the helmet of one of the Halo TV show Spartans, otherwise known as Riz028. We do already have a weapon charm of this helmet, but it seems like we're finally actually getting some TV show armor. Considering that we actually are also getting the EOD helmet, it seems like we finally will be getting something to do with the Halo TV show Season 2 whenever that releases, so maybe we'll get these along with that. Hopefully some sort of like in-game event or I don't know, we'll see what happens, but it is interesting. Moving along the trailer, we actually do get some Halloween themed cosmetics it seems like. We got a purple orange weapon coating for the commando, and not only that but we also got an armor coating here that has a bunch of like pumpkin decals on it, or I guess you could say jack-o-lantern decals is what I should be saying. As well as the visor has a bunch of jack-o-lantern faces, and once again we actually do see the new helmet that was shown earlier in a better view. So later on in the video, we do get a glimpse at the extraction device used for the extraction mode. And it seems like the person using it also has a new helmet, if I remember correctly. It does kind of look like the security helmet or the pilot helmet, something between those lines. But not only that, but on the extraction device, which I think is a cool little detail. So when the guy is arming the device, you can actually see a little bar with like red squares that starts going up. Yeah, it's basically like a timer, and I think that's a cool little detail to the... Uh, device. So later on in the video we also get a look at what seems to be a new AR weapon model. The most noticeable part about this is this little like radar scanner. I'm not, I think it's a radar scanner. It looks like something like that but uh, yeah it's on the AR. The barrels look a tad different as well. There's like a serrated edge on the top of the rifle is what it seems like. Not only that but it also is another Halloween themed weapon coating on this AR as there's bats on it and of course you know your orange and purple colors associated with uh, Halloween. So just a bit later you can also see him get some kills with this AR and as he gets a kill there actually is a flood kill effect that appears and it seems like you get like these flood tentacles that just pop out of the Spartan once he dies. It's as if he was like transforming into a flood but then you know he just dies. So later on in the trailer when they're showcasing the new prism map we also get a glimpse at another new helmet i believe which appears to have goggles it's a bit hard to see but it seems like something for the spy core or honestly i don't know it could be really any helmet as you can now mix and match between cores any helmet you want but uh yeah it looks like a new some sort of like goggled helmet moving along in the trailer when he gets a kill with the bulldog we actually do get a quick glimpse at a new at a new halloween kill effect which spawns a bunch of bats that fly away and has like a fiery a bunch of green fire also comes out alongside a jack-o-lantern face um, so we do get a look at a lot of like Halloween themed stuff during this trailer which leads me to believe that we probably are going to get some sort of like themed event or something like that. Anyways moving along here we also get a look at the new pilot helmet which was one of the new helmets I was missing from Reach alongside EOD. And yeah it seems like we're going to be getting that as we see this guy get absolutely obliterated by the sniper rifle. So moving along the trailer as we get to the campaign AI in Forge, which is definitely exciting, we actually get a look at the new Forge canvas, which is called Permafrost, and yeah, it's a snow canvas, so now you can make snowy map. Not only that, but we also get a look at what seems to be a new banished palette, a new set of Forge objects that you can use, I'm assuming it's going to be like all the banished stuff that you would see in the campaign that can now be usable, or I think at least they're going to add on to it or something like that. But yeah, that's going to help out a lot uh, making banished bases and stuff. And as we get to the firefight portion, we can actually see what seems to be a new DMR, or sorry, bandit rifle weapon model. So that's definitely nice to see. This weapon model also seems to be applied with the new DMR. It's called DMR Evo. As you can actually see in this trailer later on with the same model, uh, he has a scope on it as well. So he has it on the default bandit and the one with the scope. So for people who don't think it's a new model, yeah, there you go. 
Now we all know we're getting the Mark VI Master Chief armor, but they also left a little hint here, I guess you could say a tease, that is at the very end, and you can actually see the Mark V core, which was leaked by Serezio pretty recently, um, but we are getting a Mark V core. Yeah, we can actually see it in action here in this trailer, so it definitely is going to be a thing, and maybe it could be the core for this season. So that is about everything that you might have missed in this trailer. Let me know if I missed anything that you think is definitely worthy of uh, highlighting. With that being said, consider subscribing and liking the video for more Halo content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.